Hey there, today I'm breaking down a fascinating yet often overlooked aspect of international politics, debt diplomacy. So what exactly is debt diplomacy? Basically, it's the strategic use of financial aid and loans by countries to wield influence and control over others. Imagine this, a powerful country offers a substantial loan to a developing nation. On the surface, it looks like an act of goodwill, aiming to boost that nation's economy. But dig a little deeper and you'll find strings attached. These loans often come with conditions that can sway a country's political decisions and align them with the lender's interests. Take China's Belt and Road Initiative, for example. China has poured billions into infrastructure projects across Asia, Africa and Europe. While these projects promise economic development, they also saddle recipient countries with massive debt. When these countries struggle to repay, China gains leverage, potentially influencing their political landscapes. Another notable example is the United States during the Cold War. The US used financial aid to curry favor and secure alliances against the Soviet Union. Countries receiving US aid often found themselves in a position where aligning with American policies wasn't just beneficial. It was necessary to keep the financial support flowing. It's not always about direct control, though. Sometimes it's about creating dependencies. When a country relies heavily on foreign loans for its development, it becomes vulnerable. Any shift in the lender's policies can have profound impacts on the borrower's economy and, by extension, its political stability. Debt diplomacy isn't inherently evil, but it's a powerful tool. For the countries extending these loans, it's a way to extend their influence without direct intervention. For those receiving, it's a double-edged sword. Potential growth on one hand, and potential loss of sovereignty on the other. So next time you hear about a major loan or financial aid package, don't just see the dollar signs. Think about the political undercurrents. Who gains, who loses, and what does it mean for global power dynamics? Thanks for tuning in and stay curious. Please note these are based on personal research and not hard facts. Catch you in the next video.